as one of the first teachers in space. Wouldn't you be a little nervous up there? It's not as comfortable as in the classroom. Not class, at all. Not at all. I'd love it. <laughs> I'd love it. Ruth's students would love it, too, and they're doing their best to help send Mrs. Hoops aloft. They've made posters that already decorate memorial halls and have written over 100 letters to President Reagan to tell him of Mrs. Hoops' hopes. I just mainly asked him like, to think over about her going because I thought that she was a good teacher to go into space. NASA announced its teacher in space program just last week, and already the Lewis Research Center says it has been swamped with inquiries from curious Cleveland area teachers who, like Mrs. Hoops, would like to be a part of history. NASA hopes to put the first teachers on board this shuttle in early 1986, which gives Mrs. Hoops a couple of years to get ready. But once she's up in space, do you think she'll ever come back to Brunswick? Well, that wouldn't particularly matter either. I think they could find another teacher. <laughs> I'd love it. <laughs> Jim Hooley, Channel 3 News. In Parma, 900 Chevy workers are flying high. Word from General Motors is that they will go on making trips.